Hello and welcome back to Exothermic Plays Games. I'm Exothermic and the date today is Friday, May 10th, 2024. I've been doing a countdown of my favorite video games of all time through each day of the year and coming in at number 236 is VVVVVV. For the sake of simplicity, I'm going to refer to this game as just V, because six of them is too many to say in a row without feeling obnoxious. You play as the captain of a spaceship that crashes into a weird extra dimension or something, I think. It's really not that important. You have to do puzzle platforming to locate all of the rest of your crew so you can then teleport out of there. Pressing the spacebar inverts gravity, but you can only do it while you're on the surface. Meanwhile, much of the world is covered in spikes that you have to dodge as you platform or fall through the air. In order to locate the members of your crew, you must explore a vast expanse. In your exploration, you'll find massive teleporters which allow you to get back to your ship or to any other teleporter you've discovered, but you'll also find little collectibles that can be used to unlock small things like new music to listen to. Eventually, you'll come across an actual puzzle zone and that means you're likely on the right track to finding a crew member. There's a lot of open air in the expanse for you to fall through, which is why you'll see me frequently check the map to figure out where I haven't explored yet. Once you're in a puzzle zone, each room has a name, which sometimes even works as a hint to how to progress through that room. In much of the game, you're trying to avoid spikes, but in the puzzle rooms you'll find all sorts of weird monsters, which usually don't look like monsters at all. Be prepared to make lots of mistakes and die many, many times. Don't worry too much there, as there's frequent save points that you'll just teleport back to anytime you die. Navigate your way through the gauntlet of puzzles, and eventually you'll find your way to the missing crew member. Admittedly, the story here is fairly weak, but there is something for you to piece together. There's computer terminals that you'll find as you move around, and you can read entry logs there to kind of figure out what's going wrong, and how you found yourself in this mess. V is a ton of fun to play in bite-sized chunks, with its large areas of exploration and simple controls. There's even extra game modes like a time trial that does the puzzle sections with a timer, death count, and collectible count. While the game is purely built on a gimmick, it's a good gimmick, and the game executes it extremely well, allowing you to fully explore the gameplay that it offers across all of the puzzles. I think everyone should try the game out for its forgiving save point locations, gentle learning curve, and great music, but also the challenge of all of the different platforms you'll do. I said everyone should try it, but if you have a Steam Deck, the game is perfect for it and can often be found for just above a dollar. Get it. Join me tomorrow as I talk about the 235th game on my list where I will never again allow myself to have fewer than two logs and three grass.